Hello guys, welcome to Penetrating Testing with Spirit. My name is Spirit Edward and today I'm gonna show you what is CSRF, the cross site for request forgery. So first you should look on the OWASP site. It's the top 10 attack of the OWASP. So as you can see here, cross-site request forgery is an attack that focuses an end user to execute unwanted actions on a web application. So with this attack, if the victim is the administrative account, CSRF can compromise the entire web application. So let me show you how it works. So, I got the DVWA lab on my local host. So now let me the password is the username is admin and the password is password. So now let me copy this copy and then let me just paste it here and then log in so as you can see I have logged in with the password password so now just go to CSRF now here it's a login form which is used for changing the password so now let me change the pass password to test test so now let me select this copy this and paste it here and paste it here so now change it so as you can see the, we got the message with password changed so now let's try to log in with the password this and let me paste it here and log in so as you can see I am not able to log in now let me log in with the test so now test and log in so as you can see I have logged in with the test password that we have changed from right here so now let me again change the password to um, spirit just copy this copy and paste and paste it here and then just change it again so as you can see we have again changed the password so now as you can see we got this message so now let me show you how it work now just go to the source page of the web application then you can see the form right here change your admin password so let me copy this and paste it on to the new notepad it's actually leaf bed in Kali Linux. Now let me just paste it here. So as you can see, we got this. So now just save it on the desktop with the name um, like test dot html and then just save it and then go to the file where you have saved it minus here test.html then just open it with your browser so we got the login form so now again let's try to change the password uh, like now at this time spirited now copy this 
and paste it here and again paste it here and change so as you can see we have changed the password and again it's showing the showing us the same url code so now here is the vulnerable part so now just copy this entire thing before the message come and now go to the test.html and as you can see here we got form action equals to then just paste your vulnerable link here so now it will redirect to this page and then it will run this query after this so now the method is get and then the new password so input password password we have to input the password auto complete off and name is password new so now after this just let's try to play with it now just give it a value specific value like b a l u e and equals to now this time let's give it a value the um, p e n t e s t pen test so now copy this and paste it here and close it with a double quote so now again for the confirmation again give a space and write the value equals to and then the same pen test and then just save it so now we have give the specific value to this form so now go to this test.html and back and now again just reload it and then just change it so as you can see we have successfully changed our password and it will redirect us to the direct to the vulnerable link so now let me log out so as you know last time we changed the password to spirit so now let's check if spirit is working or not the username is admin and the password is spirit and login so as you can see login failed and now let's try with pen test copy this and admin and then just paste it and log in so we have successfully logged in so this is enough for this tutorial i strongly recommend you all to read the read about the csrf on the owasp site it's really very good so thanks for watching guys and keep watching pen creating testing with spirit thank you